Hey, Mark Nelson. Today I want to talk to you about one of the most important things in your marketing. And I believe very few people actually dig in and go get this because I didn't until I went through some training with some great mentors and actually showed me how important this is. It's talking about finding your social voice. And it doesn't matter whether you're doing it organically or whether you're doing it through paid. They both work the same. We're going to talk about finding your avatar. And when I say that, what we're trying to do is see, when you're talking to people, it's just not the message, but the voice in which you say it and who you say it to. See, in all reality, your avatar is a replica of you. So the more you are honest with yourself in these questions, the more you understand your prospects. And I didn't understand that, but I do now. See, so I want you to think about these. What are the values that are important to you? Or what are the values that are important to me? That's what you're answering. What are the goals that are important to you? And why? So the values are the values that you're honest, that you're moving a product that's really going to help people, that you're trying to impact people. The goals you're trying to be uh, retired, financially free, time free. And why are you doing those things? Why do you want to be financially free? I know what I want to be. I want to travel the world. What are the problems you faced? Has it been a challenge to learn? Is, are you an introvert, much like me? Are you uh, had to... You know, I, I'm a math teacher, so I've learned a lot of math, but I, I haven't learned a lot of communication, if that makes sense. And then what are the solutions that you found? I mean, if you have problems, what did you find? See, the, the voice, what you're talking about, you're going to talk to your avatar. And then how has it helped me? And how have I become better? Well, through all of this. See, I'm, I, I'm still an introvert, but I know what I do impacts people. I know my teaching impacted students. I just want a bigger world. And teaching is never going to get me financially independent. Never going to get me financially free. Never going to get me time free. Right? Because there isn't that amount of income that I could ever put away just doing teaching. So I really was striving for something else. Now that's me. I want you to answer these questions. See again, your avatar is a replica, replica of you. So be honest and answer these questions. Write them down. So now let's think about our ideal customers or prospects. And this next exercise is the key to being successful in any marketing campaign. And it's so simple, but that most people don't take the time to do it. They just don't. They, they, they think it's not part of what they need to do. What we're talking about is an empathy map and trying to find your customer. So what we're going to try to do is talk about your prospect or your customer and talk about what do they think and feel. Now again, it's about you. What does he see? What does he say and do? What does he hear? And the pain and the gain, all of these. Now, this is a digital map, and I can certainly give it to you. This exactly, it's going out in a PDF that you can click or you can get it to me on Google Drive. Um, I like to really write things down because I think it, when I write them, it feels a little bit better. Now, this print, I thought I had it big, but I'm going to go with here. So, the first one. See, my, my avatar is much like me. I started out in this journey and I was a struggling network marketer. I couldn't figure it out. I, I, I was going financially broke. My wife was thought I was nuts. Um, see, so the questions, right? When you start asking and thinking and feeling, what really counts? The major preoccupations, worries and aspirations. See, when I started mine, it, and I have different avatars for what I do. I really do. Um, but when I started my my per avatar, a, a struggling network marketer, his name is Jim, 53 years old. 
knowing that the money that he's making will not provide a retirement for he and his wife, or he can't help his kids go to college. I mean, they have to take out loans, and that sucks big time. See, Jim feels really frustrated. He doesn't know what to do. He, he works really hard at his job in corporate. Uh, he just doesn't know what's going to happen. See, so that's kind of a think and feel. You, and, and you dig into this. Dig into it. What does he see? In the environment, friends, what the markets offers. In network marketing, he sees struggling people. He sees people faking it until they make it. Me, you go to home meetings and everybody's all dressed up the nines, but they don't have enough money for lunch. He goes to home meetings and doesn't see anybody. He sees the frustration look in his wife's eyes. He sees his quiz, his quiz, his kids questioning him whether he's good enough at doing this. He says he is, but yet he can't make it happen. What do they hear? What do friends say? What the boss says? What influence says? See, what do friends say? Oh, man, he's in another one of those dumb things. He has no clue what he's doing. Is he in one of those pyramid things? Man, how can he be doing this to his wife? Right? What influences say? See, some of these big... Uplines, they keep telling you to, to write your list and call your dentist and your doctor. I never wanted to call my dentist and doctor. They, I, shoot, I thought they were doing extremely well. I, I thought I was being crazy. So it, it was a, a really different thing. So when you go through here, go through every one of them. So what does he say and do? See, attitude in public, appearance, behavior towards others. See, what I saw was struggling networkers are kind of, they're either cocky or they're an introvert and hid. Now, attitude in public, when they would talk to somebody and they'd say no, I saw so many people just kind of put their chest out and go, wow, he wasn't good enough for this anyway, and really hurt a lot of people. His appearance, you know, they're trying to be dressed to the nines, they're trying to fake it till they make it, yet they didn't have enough money for a lot of things at home. In the pain and gain, the fears, oh my gosh, they aren't going to make it. They're spending more money than they're making. They'll be looked at like a fool. People are talking behind their back. The obstacles, there's not enough time, right? In the gain, the wants and needs, the needs. He needs to make money. Again, I'm talking about my avatar. He needs to make money for retirement. He needs to make money to help his kids out. His wants are to be looked at as a leader, as successful. The obstacles he runs into is mostly inside himself. Now, that is me. That was my avatar. That's Jim. I could write that down. Now, I, again, earlier I told you in doing this empathy map, I have two of them because I talked to him. I talked to the struggling Jim. See, I also have a uh, avatar for a husband and wife uh, with young kids at home because that was me too. I also have an avatar for cancer survivors because that was me also. So here's what I want you to know. This is your assignment is a day in your life. I want you to give your avatar a name. You know, write out their a day in their life and write out their typical day from the moment they open their eyes to the moment they close them at night. Incorporate all the internal and external dialogue, the sight, hearing, smell, taste, touch, and others from themselves and others, but you gotta incorporate all these senses. This works. So take this serious and make your avatar. Make the main one. I don't know what you're doing or what company you're in or what products you're trying to sell. But make that avatar for your niche. There, I got back to the 
Temple Team map. So I hope you like that. Um, you all take care. My light shut down halfway through. <laughs> so I hope you still see me. You all take care. We'll talk again in the next module.